Hello, and I am gonna do a war thing. So yeah, here's the land, and here are the capitals and all their land. Now, here are the teams. So now they're going to war. And let's see how I do this war. So A is on the offensive side. And A went to attack X, which knocked out one. Now, A also did that one, which knocked out that X. Now, both of them are going up, getting X's capital, and then they're gone. Okay, now, A wins. So, with that, I am really, I'm unsure who I'm cheering for, but... It's a mystery who I'm going to choose to win. So, war! So, here's what the peace treaty looks like for O... For X versus A. So, the peace treaty is that... Let me remove some of that, but... That A village gets all of that land, I think. Let me change it. This is way too difficult to erase all of this. So I do this. And uh, don't worry, I'm not fusing these two together. But yeah. So as you can tell, E is obviously going to attack A. And E attacks that upper peninsula. And then... Now E pushed in and got more land, you see. And so with all that new land, E attacks their capital, Whoa. the peninsula E, more peninsula one. I don't know how to explain it. And now the border looks like lower Texas. So, now, uh, the slider, uh, I accidentally got a gray. So, I'm gonna fix the lower peninsula. So, the, I know one of them's gonna attack. So, I'm thinking about it. So, lower peninsula attacks, upper peninsula attacks. They go together, attack the capital. And so A immediately just surrenders. So now both of the peninsulas get land, keeping that lower Texas border. So the lower peninsula gets a lot of that land. Like that. So. Oh my gosh, wait. I forgot to... I accidentally erased the capital and the uh, team. Okay, so I have an idea. They're gonna attack each other. Team B versus Team E. I am ready. I'm cheering for Team E. So Team. So Team B goes in to attack Team E. Expanding their territory. Obviously, E is not going to be happy with that. So, they knock him down a little. And then, they go up, which leads to that happening. They almost reach the capital. And then E knows what E must have to do. E has to defend the capital at all costs. So whenever they reach the capital, the capital is taken. But E immediately switches it up there to the more Denmark-looking peninsula. Oh, okay. So, so with all this land, they go up. But obviously, it's cold up there because, like, higher you go, colder it is. So they get pushed back easily. 
so then while they're trying to attack there they make like some kind of canal thing to stop them so now it's technically an island so then they go up there make some use the port there and then they send their troops to the upper part of the island and so they team E immediately just gives up and here is the uh, treaty the treaty is I have to do a lot of undo but the treaty is that team E will keep their capital up there obviously but I have to do all this but they're, look, they're an island now. So, they get those two peninsulas. Actually, I'm going to give them a little more land. It gets the island, two of the peninsulas, and some of that lower land. While Team B gets all that land. And with all that land, yeah. So, that is the end. I may do something else. So, bye!